Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha Kudash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. And basically, uh, this is a response to uh, the video that the elder brother Manatu Zakra had done um, yesterday titled Beware of Secret Unbelievers and Rebellious Women. And um, <clears throat> basically, this uh, woman here, Janae Israel Joy of Zion, also left some, uh, you know, interesting comment on my uh, comment board last night. And, um, you know, this isn't the first time <clears throat> she's left like a weird comment, you know, on the comment board. And <clears throat> the spur just had it to where last night when I saw it, I was like, all right, that's it. So, yeah, uh, I, you know, I sent it to my brother. He was like, yo, that's, that's, that's weird, man. What the hell? And so <clears throat> I had planned that, you know, whenever, when I did my next lesson, usually when I go live, you know, you have brothers and sisters that come on, they say Shalom, and typically she'll say Shalom. You know, I was going to address it in a video, you know, or during the live that, you know, look, don't be, don't be leaving weird comments, you know, because, you know, she's left a couple of weird comments, like, and I mean, like, one time it was just like a whole essay of something. I'm, I'm, I was so confused reading it because I'm like, why, what con, what is this in relation to? What's the context here? I don't understand what's going on here. Why is it on my comment board? Um, so the spirit had it to where when I, when I, uh, woke up this morning, you know, that's the first thing that came onto my mind. Like, yo, that was a weird ass comment yesterday. And then, um, I opened YouTube and <clears throat> through the notifications, I saw that there was a video done, right? Beware of secret unbelievers and rebellious women. Now the thumbnail of this video doesn't show this picture here, but in it, like instinctively right in my spirit, it hit me. I was like, yo, imagine this is, this is like a, a, um, a video on this individual, Janae Israel, that left a comment and, and you know, the elder brother Manat Zagba saw it. And then when I clicked on the video, boom, it was the same thing. I said, yeah, that, that, that's definitely the spirit. You know, so I watched the video and then um, I read through some of the comments here and it, it made sense because last night when I read the comments she left, I didn't understand. I was like, you know, what what does this mean? What's what's the context? You can't just throw a random ass comment, you know, and I'm like, what, what, what the hell does this have to do with anything? But after reading, uh, watching this video and seeing the comments she left here, I see that it was it was it was basically related because in this video, um, as uh, the elder brother goes into, she's she's basically uh, um, with the doctrine of you know basically the whole mixed seed and you know you you, you can't you can't mingle you can't deal with the heathen women because that'll taint the pedigree bloodline that kind of thing, which is really a simple matter. But you know the Lord can use even the simplest of matters to um you know to 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 sift people. But there was a point in here where she mentioned. <clears throat> Let me see. Uh, which definitely watch the video. I'm gonna send the. Uh, I'm gonna leave the link to this video in the description. But um, there was a certain word. Let's see if I can find it. In here. Is it in here? Do, do, do. It's like yeah, I'm just trying to see if I can find. Um. Yeah, bear with me one second, cause I think it's important that I find this. Okay, so yeah, she goes on about, you know, most high hit and eat them and, you know, she saw and all these things here, but, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. There's something, I, I believe there was a part in there she mentioned something about like um, amalgamation or like mixed, you know, siege. I'm trying to, I don't know where it was, but I did see it in here. Um, and <clears throat> that's how I knew, oh, okay, what the comment she left on, there we go, there it is. Says Yahweh did not create amalgamations, quote unquote mix, or uh, not quote unquote parentheses mixes, right? Going into like that the 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 one if you deal with another a woman of another nation, that's gonna be a mix of that's not gonna be a mix, all right. But the comment that she left, now I got two screenshots. This this was from a while back, <clears throat> the one on your right, and then the one on the left was from last night. Now this was on a video I done I had done going into Second Ezra chapter eight. Okay, and the comment said, tell him to stop apologizing, damn it. He wasn't wrong. 
they are wrong. Wrong as hell. TMH, the Most High, did not create amalgamations. So like, remember, now last night I hadn't seen the video. So I'm, I'm looking at the comment like, ah, what, what, who, tell who, what, what are you talking about? <laughs> you know, so I deleted the comment, but I had already screenshotted it. And then when I watched this video and then I saw this part, I said, oh, amalgam amalgamations, she's referring to, so now this gave the whole story as to why she left this comment here. My thing is, why are you leaving this comment on my comment board? What I, what do I have to do with this? What do you? What, I'm not gonna tell him to stop apologizing, or tell him he wasn't wrong because he was wrong. And she's referring to your Howard Maccabees, <clears throat> and he and he apologized for that and said that he was off. He admitted that. So why should I go and tell him that he was wrong, or or he wasn't wrong? What well, that that doctrine is off and it is wrong. Okay. Now on a, on a different occasion. She left this comment randomly, right? Call me today. I mean it. He got it. Phone emoji will erase in 10 minutes. What? What do you, what? <laughs> well, you see, you see what I mean? Like what? Now, then, then in between, you know, on a regular, you'll come and say like, oh, Shalom and, you know, beautiful lesson and all of these things. But then you be throwing some random ass comments here. You know, it's like, yo, what, what's going on? So it's the spirit that, you know, the elder brother did this video and just to show that, you know, it's not like he just, you know, he's just going and look for, for something to do a video on. But the, the same individual left weird comments on my comment board as well. All right. And um, <clears throat> the last thing was on, I remember on this video that I did called Give Him Hell, right? This was last year. She left a comment. All right. Which said, if I could find it, uh, let's go to newest first. All right now, this is edited. Now, I this originally, if I'm not mistaken, when I first read it, it was a long essay on a whole bunch of stuff. But it, as you can see, it says edited, right? So she edited it. It says, "Watch all when time permits." Marvelous lesson, lesson, Northern Kingdom. Then she put a link. Then it says, "When all, when, when, uh, watch all when time permits." Specifically, forced error discussed at one minute forty seconds. Shalom, beloved Daniel. My name is Bakar, <laughs> Bakar Mak. So, where, where are you getting Daniel now? If you were, if you're referring to D Daniel in the scriptures, the prophet, out of that you can't you can't say Shalom, beloved Daniel, because I'm not Daniel. I don't know I don't know who I am, you know. <clears throat> so, um, going on when you click on the link, right? You'll see, and and the, and the elder brother Manasseh Zagba said it. He said that in here she posted a scripture. To, to try and justify what she was saying and he said she's been watching other groups okay now the link leads to this channel right here by an individual named uh ayal bun ephraim bun yasharala okay and you you already know that this this isn't clearly this ain't the type of uh uh, uh we don't associate with this individual right um now when you click on here onto this page all right, and you go on to videos, you'll see there's some videos on here. Now, there was something that I saw. Uh, where we at? Where we at? There's, there's one. Let's see. Yeah, there was a, one with a weird title. But this is the link to the video that she sent me to, uh, to take a look at. I ain't watching this video. What the hell I need to watch a video like this for? Now, there's another video with a with a weird title, and I said, "Oh yeah, yep, yeah, that's 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 uh that's definitely not that's not what we teach, you know. When you got individuals that that put videos with like certain weird titles, you know, going into uh, oh it was there it is the the name of the video was the Book of Mormon, all right. Let me see, oh Mormon. There you go. G go get a Book of Mormon. Proof it's ours coming soon. We don't teach that you should go and get the Book of Mormon and read from that and all that because we we let you know that, yeah, that the book, all these books aside from the scriptures, if it ain't, you know, you, of course you have like secular history and stuff like that. But these books, these other books, you know, that, that people try to mingle with this. Oh, you got to read this one, too, and the Book of Jubilee and the Book of this. Right now, the only book that we're supposed to be dealing with is the Book of the Lord, which is the Bible. Okay, 
But yeah, pretty much you can already, you know, look in, look, our Aboriginal history in Book of Mormon. So he teaches the Book of Mormon. All right. So it, like this is the link you put on my channel to watch. This means that clearly you have to be watching this individual, you know, talking about watch the whole thing. That was a three hour video. I'm not going to sit there and watch a three hour video like that. I could be doing better things. All right. But yeah, anyway, I just wanted to bring that out just to, you know, do a response adding on to that. Just that, look, it's a, this is interesting because when I did a video on Rap the News um, months ago, there was a woman that came on a comment board. I think her name was uh, Johanna Give Praise or something. And she, you know, she came and basically spewed out and expressed how she didn't agree with what we taught and all of these things. Meanwhile, she'd been saying Shalom and all of these things for, for a good minute. So... If I remember correctly, I believe it was Janae Israel that said something to her, but like, you know, in a sense of kind of like correcting her on the comment board about that woman saying that she didn't believe in the things we were teaching all these years. And then now you come in and, <laughs> you know, and turn around and, and uh, 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 you know, start throwing weird comments and stuff like that, you know, showing that you don't really believe in what we teach either. You know, so the point is that you got to, you know, just because somebody says Shalom or beloved lesson or not beloved lesson, but beautiful lesson or, you know, this, that, and the third. Hey, even on the comment section here, you'll see one of the sisters put, um, uh, where was it? Where is she at? Where is she at? Uh, yeah, we go. See? One of the sisters, uh, Zayan Na'awa, Na daughter of Jerusalem, OMG, what a shock. You know, she goes into like, she was shocked and all that to find out. So, you know, there's a lot of people that are, you know, sneaking in. They, they, they're in the background. They're watching. They leave comments. But there's a, people leave a lot of comments, you know. So sometimes you'll see it through notifications. You click on it. YouTube has deleted it. It's not there. Sometimes you may see something weird. But when you click on it, it doesn't show. So you can't see the whole thing. Now, you, am I bugging or is this, you know, what, what what the hell? But, you know, I try to, when somebody comments that I don't know who they are, I try to go on their page and see if they have any content, see who they're subscribed to, just to see what where they're coming from with that. <clears throat> because you have people that will come and say, oh, yeah, beautiful. They'll say positive things, but from the true standpoint of where they are, you know, they're not coming from that, that same uh, 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 belief, you know. <clears throat> so I try to do that before, you know, either liking the comment or, or something of that of that sort. Um, it was something I was looking for. Uh, right. I wanted to see. I wanted to confirm. Let me see. Wrap. Wrap the news. I think it was this video. A lot of people got hurt over that. But it is what damn 58 comments. See, you see, look, look at it. Seven beloved, uh, beautiful lesson. Shalom, beloved. But then you turn around and say these, you know, um, Oh, no, I, I deleted it. It might not be here, but anyway, it, it's the point is, this is the point, all right? So now I'm going to bring out a, a quick precept. This is the book of Ecclesiasticus 5 and 15. It says, be not ignorant of anything in a great matter or a small, okay? So, and why is that? Because a, what is a great matter? Great matter is, is, is a small matter that became great. So when you when you see something that may not seem, you know, it seems unusual, or the spirit points it out to you, take heed, you know, and look, okay, well, why, why is this, you know, why is this raising up a flag in my head? Or why, why am I, why is the spirit directing my attention to this? You know, because there may be something more behind it. Okay. So especially in these times, we got to be careful, you know, who, who's comment you may be liking and, 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 you know, who, who's leaving comments and, you know, all of these things, pay attention to those things because they seem small at first, but there's, you know, there, there might be something going on behind it. All right. <clears throat> um, this is not the precept I was looking for. Uh, let me see. Redeeming. There it is. This is uh, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 15. It says, See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. And the point is walking circumspectly. So that's in your day-to-day -day life. That's when you're out there in the highways and byways. And that's when you're doing these videos, you know, paying attention and, and watching all of these things. All right. So, yeah, anyway, that's pretty much it. Uh, Low willing, that was edifying and informative to the elect.
In closing, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakudash. Until next time, Shalom.